Kai kamo mata mahara open forum de ohanashi suru ki kai wo itaraki domo arigato gozaimas. Nini ichiro kono yoni atsumate portfolio ni kansuru gimo wo hanashi ai. Jishiki wo kyo yuji sama sama na daikakude portfolio ga dono yoni shiyo sare tero no kawo shoku sai wo. Nihon Mahara community no dentoga tsudutero kotobo taihen oresho omoimas. Dai to kai Mahara open forum no kaisai o medeto gosaimas. Maitoshi kaizo kushite kono bento kaisai suru kotoba taihena kotore ari. Kankeisha no Kenshin Tiki na Doyo Kuga, Atino Kotura to Omotimas. Maharani Kanshin wo Omotino Katana Tameni Kono Ftuka Kano Ibento wo Kaisaishite Kutasata Uneiin no Minasamani Kansha no Kotoba wo no Petaito Omotimas. Domo arigato gozaimas. Zanka saritero minasamani okare mashteva maharani sutino saishin johovo tori irete itaraki otagaino joho kokani oyota aratana kyoryo kankaiga katashi jukurareru yono suparashi kikainiste Itaraki rebato negateimas. Kotoshino Mahara open forum wo shime korimashte. Maharani okonatero henkoni ikutsavo shokaish taito omoimas. And you have been celebrating the 10th conference of Mahara Open Forum and the community is celebrating the 13th anniversary of Mahara this year. And so we are really looking forward to an exciting new year um, but of course after having released Mahara for 13 years already we are also facing a number of challenges. And those challenges are to stay modern in today's world and to always make updates um, in order to suit the way how people are using internet science these days. Um, also to stay flexible so that people can still use Mahara in many, many different portfolio contexts. And then, of course, to stay relevant for the organizations that are working with Mahara, and not just the organization, but also the students. And so together with these three challenges, which are kind of the big ones, um, we are always looking to have conversations with our community members. Because through these conversations, can we find out um, how everything is going, whether existing features that Mahara already has are still needed, um, are still relevant, um, or whether anything should be changed in order to make working with Mahara easier. Therefore, events like Mahara Open Forum are really important in the Mahara community because they allow everybody to share their ideas, get together and um, exchange also of what you're doing with Mahara and in many ways um, also come up with new ideas and new projects and then implement those not just in Japan, but also in other areas of the world. And so we are always looking for these sort of projects to make Mahara better. And these projects that turn into features, turn into usability changes, and really um, can come from anybody in the community. 
So they can come from an individual lecturer. Um, they can be small changes that we are making, sometimes really only a couple of hours of work, or they can be really, really big projects that take multiple days or sometimes also multiple weeks to develop um, if they are making uh, large infrastructural changes or how things work in Mahara. And all of these things, from small projects to big projects, um, from changes to new features, um, inform our roadmap. And our roadmap for the Mahara project uh, can be viewed on our wiki page, uh, which you can see on the screen. And uh, the roadmap typically con uh, consists of five components. The first one, and one of the two most important ones is usability improvements. Um, over the last 13 years, the way that we interact with the internet, that we use the internet, that we interact with sites has changed. And so we are always looking for ways to keep Mahara modern and make it possible for people to not really need to know so much upfront knowledge to use Mahara. And that's where usability improvements come in to make it easier to use the features. A second big component, of course, is also the feature development. That is how Mahara gets bigger, how um, more use cases can be, um, can be done in the portfolio software and makes it possible for more people to use Mahara because it is flexible and can be used as showcase portfolio, as learning portfolio as, and developmental portfolio, as well as as assessment portfolio. We of course also have technology updates that we need to consider for our roadmap um, because left third party libraries change, um, security updates need to be made and we need to stick with the times. So for Mahara 1904, for example, um, we upgraded to Bootstrap 4. That was necessary to stay up to date with that, uh, with our um, CSS and HTML framework um, and to make use of the new features implemented in there. And the last item on the roadmap that concerns the Mahara software is the issue resolution. Bug fixing is also our daily bread and can't be forgotten. Um, and all these four things make up the roadmap for the software. However, there is also the community infrastructure that we need to be aware of in the Mahara project and need to keep up to date. So that is the user manual, the wiki, our automation test server, and numerous other support infrastructure um, that helps us run the Mahara project. And in order to keep everything running smoothly, that is part of our roadmap as well for each release of Mahara. Now, of course, that is quite a big roadmap and um, technology updates as well as community infrastructure may not interest you much if you are more on the lecture side of using Mahara. Therefore, what I'm going to do today is really focus on some of the new features that we have implemented in, or that we are going to implement in Mahara 19.10. And I'm kind of saying have already implemented because some of them are already merged into the Mahara group base, while others are still getting their final polishes uh, being done. So what I'd just like to mention before we take a look at some of those features is, please keep in mind um, that for some, the development work hasn't quite finished yet, and that we are still going to make some language string fixes and um, maybe also button changes. You will also see that some of these features are not yet fully translated into Japanese. That is because they are not yet in the code base. 
uh, MITS is definitely going to look into those once they are there so that you will have full Japanese language again. So the first feature that I would like to show you today is the placeholder block. That was a project that we did work together on with Dublin City University in Ireland. And the working title was called Magic Block. And um, that comes there because it's like magic that the teacher student can decide what um, they would like to put into a certain block. So let's take a look. When you put a block onto a page now, all you have to do is put the block there and you don't immediately have to choose what block type you want to use. So that is really handy when you create templates for students because then you can put placeholder block or multiple blocks just the headings onto the page. And when the student gets to the page, they can then decide, do they want to put a picture on that in that space? Do they want to put a video on or something else? So you are not making that decision for them up front. To get this feature goes an administrator interface. And that is necessary um, because you can decide then which blocks appear towards the top when the blocks are chosen. So you can put in all the blocks that are most used on the page, on a, on a regular portfolio page, so that it's faster for the students to select those blocks. Alternatively, of course, you could also move blocks further up that you feel are underutilized and therefore would want to uh, would that you would want uh, students to use more so a very handy feature where the site administrator can really decide which blocks are to be shown more at the top than others and therefore make it faster for everybody creating portfolio pages to find the blocks that they want to use Another feature that we are looking at uh, for improving how to edit portfolio pages is um, the more flexible layout. So when we are looking at the current layout, how you set up a layout in Mahara, you have to go into the settings page and then select one of the pre-made layouts or you can create your own. But it's very restrictive because you can't really decide much on the size of the columns um, and then you are restricted to that layout that you built and if you want to change it you need to go all the way back into this page and then make changes and move your blocks around. Not so in the new layout. In the new way of choosing the layout in Mahara, you can do that directly from the edit screen. So that you can place the block onto the page and then decide how wide or small it shall be and also it shall sit on the page. That removes one extra click from the way of creating a page layout and allows you more to work with that and make changes much faster. Now you see here that you don't need to use your for that feature. However, we are also building an accessible feature that can be used by everybody um, who um, is with the finger or can only use their keyboard. People will always be able to use templates and work with them know better where the blocks are. But when they're creating their own pages, it will be a bit simpler so that it is easier for them to hinder. A third element that makes editing and viewing a portfolio page easier is our improved heading area. 
if you've already worked with Mahara 1904, you will have seen that there is now more space in the header so that there is a background color which is decided by the theme and that all the buttons moved to the right hand side. And this is really important to, to let the content shine more and what's the first step towards now what we are putting into Mahara 19.10. Because now you will be able to change that color behind that page heading by creating a skin and only changing the header color. You can also upload an image and we will provide the dimensions for that because right now you won't be able to crop it on Mahara. You will only be able to place it there. And then when you put your skin onto the page, like in the normal way in the page settings and view that page, then it will have the color that you selected. So you can, personalize your portfolio page more, not even needing to go to the effort of creating an entire skin with background and all that, uh, but simply by choosing a different header background. And because you created a skin, you can very easily reuse that on other pages. Um, one thing that, of course, portfolios are really important for um, is the getting feedback on either the entire page or on individual artifacts, the learning evidence. And um, that has always been fairly easy because we have that functionality built in. However, what we're changing from 19.10 is that comments and details page slides out immediately on the page so that you're not needing to navigate away. In the past, you always had to, had to click the details link and then were taken to a new page and needed to go back. Now you can simply click the artifact or the comments and details area and then add your comment. Or in the case of images, for example, or journal entries, click the title or the image itself and place a comment on the page. So that is the first step towards uh, making it nicer to view a page and but yet still being able to make comments on every artifact. So in the past when we talked to people, um, many said that Mahara is very blocky so that it kind of interrupts the flow of information and doesn't look like a website where you just have text and then image and then more text and more images, but that we always had it interrupted by these add comments and details buttons right below the artifacts. Now in 19.10 we are changing that. We are implementing this details view, um, which can also be used very well for assessment, um, which then puts a bar at the top of the artifact that can have details um, so that these elements can still be easily accessed, even if they are not images or um, journal entries. And they also show how many comments there are making it easier for an assessor of a portfolio, for example, to see immediately whether any of the artifacts have already received comments or whether there are still some needed without representing that information directly on the page. Therefore, making it, as you can see um, here, cleaner to view the page because it is rid of all those metadata details. These were kind of the big changes that we are making for 19.10 in regards to creating, editing, and interacting with a portfolio page. 
Now, there are a few more features um, that are going to be implemented um, in other areas of Mahara. And one that I would like to show you um, is the one um, that deals with plans by the University of Bremen in Germany. Um, our plans are kind of like to-do lists. And what um, the University of Bremen has done is expanded so that you can also use these plans for assignments and task creation. So a lecturer here can set up a template plan um, that can include tasks that students can select and then fulfill. So they can set up these tasks and also associate portfolios with them. And then this lecturer can go into a group that they created for one of their classes and choose that plan template and it will be copied into that group automatically, making it possible for the students then, who are members in that group, to select the tasks that they would like to fulfill. They don't have to choose all of them, they can just choose some of them. And when a student now goes into their own portfolio area, they have the portfolios associated with those tasks directly in their account without needing to copy them manually. They also have all the tasks that they are going to um, work on in their portfolio themselves. That is a really, really cool feature because it makes it easier to copy plans and work with them and give tasks to students. Another feature that you will be able to look forward to, um, it is still in development, so we hope to um, get it done before the release of 1910, is the page access moderation. That will allow teachers to review the portfolio of a student before it is being made public so that they can check that there is no copyright infringement before the entire infant can see a portfolio. This is in particular good um, for younger students um, to ensure that not, not shared accidentally, that shouldn't be shared with everybody. And that feature is being developed for the State Institute of um, education and development in the state of Baden-Württemberg in Germany by Synergy Learning and Pofsot. In Wellington, we are working also on some very technical change, namely the removal of database triggers. That is really only interesting for people who are work having their Mahara instance hosted in the cloud which of course are increasingly more organizations, um, but there will not be any change to the user interface for that. It is a pure technical change to make running Mahara in the cloud easier. And there are a number of other features as well as bug fixes in 19.10 that you'll be able to explore. Now you might wonder, well, when can I get all these new features? Well, very soon, actually. Um, we are looking into making the preview version of Mahara 19.10 available by the end of September. And then the actual release of Mahara 19.10 in the second half of October. So please watch out for the announcements that, I'm, uh, that we are going to make in the news forum. And I'll also post things again on social media so that you know um, when the preview version is available as well as the actual release. And then of course, we are very much looking forward to your testing and also your feedback and would love to hear from you 
how you like the new features, how you like the changes, and whether there's anything that um, you'd like to enhance on it or that um, you'd like to let us know about what is available in 19.10. Arigato.